Hello everyone. There are three methods of solving simultaneous equations. They are elimination method, substitution method, and graphical method. In this video, we are going to apply the three methods to the solution to this question. That means you are going to learn the three methods in this video. Elimination method is simple when both equations are linear. This is equation 1 and this is equation 2. Next, ensure that x are vertically aligned. Also, ensure that y are vertically aligned. Next, also ensure that you leave the constants on the other side of the equal sign. The constants are numbers or values without the x and y we are considering here. Next, decide, that is, make a choice to use either the coefficient of x in equation 1 and 2 or the coefficient of y in equation 1 and 2. Here, I'm going to make use of the coefficient of x in equation 1 and 2. Next, use the coefficient of x in equation 2 to multiply everything in equation 1. Next, use the coefficient of x in equation 1 to multiply everything in equation 2. Next, you draw a line. Next, 3 multiply by 4x. You're going to get 12x. Next, 3 multiply by 3y. You're going to get 9y. Next, 3 multiply by 5. You're going to get 15. Next, 4 multiply by 3. You're going to get 12x. Next, 4 multiply by 2y. You're going to get 8y. Next, 4 multiply by 4. You are going to get 16. Next, you draw a line. Now, you can see that the coefficient of x in equation 1 and 2 are the same. Whenever the coefficient of x are the same or the coefficient of y are the same, you eliminate one of them. However, when the coefficients are the same, but one of the coefficient is having a minus then you have to add but here both of them are plus hence our minus 12 minus 12 is 0 x is now eliminated next 9 minus 8 will give you 1 that is 9y minus 8y will give you only 1y remember Whenever it is 1, we don't usually write it. On the other side, 15 minus 16 is minus 1. Hence, our y is minus 1. Now that we have obtained the value for y, next, we are going to substitute into either equation 1 or equation 2. Here, I have decided to use equation 2. If you use equation 1, you are still going to get the same answer. From equation 2, 3x plus 2y is 4. But y has a value, which is minus 1. And we're going to have that 3x minus 1 times 2 will give you minus 2. And we have 4. 3x is 4. This minus 2 will move and become plus 2. 3x is 6 and x is 6 over 3. 3 is multiplying and on the other side it will divide. You can see that our x is 2. Next, the last step is to test for x equals 2 and y equals minus 1 into equation 1 and equation 2 respectively. If you substitute both answers, into equation 1, you are going to get 5. If you substitute both results into equation 2, you are going to get 4. To check for your answers from equation 1, we have 4x is here plus 3y is here. In 
the first bracket x is 2 and in the second bracket y is minus 1 and here we have 5. Next, let's check for the accuracy of equation 2. In equation 2, we have 3x, we open and close the bracket, plus 2y, we open and close the bracket. In the first bracket, x is 2, and in the second bracket, y is minus 1. And here, we have 4. We are going to repeat this question, this time around, using substitution method. This is equation 1 and this is equation 2. In substitution method, we do not draw a line to eliminate. What we do is, we are going to take either equation 1 or equation 2 and make either x or we make y the subject and substitute into the other equation. Here, let me consider equation 2 and I'm going to make x the subject. If you decide to make y the subject, it's just a matter of choice. 3x is 4 minus 2y. I just moved 2y across, it becomes minus. 3 is multiplying. Hence, on the other side, 3 we divide and this is equation 3. Next, we're going to substitute equation 3 into equation 1. However, do not make a mistake of substituting equation 3 back from where we got it from. Else, you're going to eliminate both x and y. That is, let me make the mistake. I want to substitute this back into itself. That is, 3x plus 2y is 4. Here, x is this. So I'm going to have that 3. Instead of x, I will now have 4 minus 2y divided by 3 plus 2y is 4. 3, we cancel 3. I will end up having 4 minus 2y plus 2y is 4. Minus 2y, we cancel plus 2y, and 4 is 4. You see, at the end of the day, you are doing nothing because you have eliminated x and y. Hence, this should be avoided. Let's continue with the correct step. I will put equation 3 into equation 1. Here we have that 4x plus 3y is 5. We have 4 x has a value plus 3y is 5. The value of x is 4 minus 2y divide by 3. Remember, this 4 is like over 1. Next, 4 multiplied by 4 is 16. 4 multiplied by minus 2y is minus 8y. Next, 1 times 3 at the denominator, we give you 3. We have plus 3y is 5. This is like over 1. Next, 1 multiply everything here. Everything here will return, which is 16 minus 8y. Next, 3 will multiply 3y, and you will get plus 9y. Next, 3 will multiply 1 at the denominator and everything here will become 3. On the other side, we have 5. Here we have 16 minus 8y plus 9y will give us plus 1y. And 3 multiplied by 5 is 15 by cross multiplication. Next. We are going to isolate y by making it the subject. Here I have 15. This thing will move and become minus 16. And y is minus 1. Now that we have gotten the value of y. Next, we are going to substitute y equals minus 1 into either equation 1, 2 or 3. 
However, equation three is already positioned to help. And we're going to have that X is four minus two. Y has a value divide by three. The value of Y is minus one. And X will become four minus times minus is plus two divide by three. And you can see that six divide by three is two. You can see that X is equals two and Y is equals minus one, which is same as the answers we got using elimination method. We are going to repeat this question this time around using graphical method. In graphical method, we are going to split the equation into two. The next step is to make y the subject in both equations. Here, for the first equation, I will have that 3y is 5 minus 4x. I just move 4x across and I need just only y. So I will have 5 minus 4x divide by 3. We just made y the subject. In the second equation, I will move 3x across so that I'll have that 2y is 4 minus 3x. I need just y. So here I will have 4 minus 3x divide by 2. The next step is we are going to choose some range of integers. Here, let me make a choice from minus 2 to 2. I will consider the same choice for the both equations. Next, I will draw a table to consider the range of the integers. After inputting our considered range of integers, next, let me consider the first table. Next, I will substitute minus 2 into this equation so that I will have 5 minus 4 multiplied by minus 2 and you're going to get minus 8. Minus 8 will multiply this minus and it gets plus 8. 5 plus 8 is 13 and 13 divided by 3, we are going to get 4.33. For the first value of equation one table, we're going to have five minus four X at the denominator, we have three. Inside the bracket, we have minus two and we have 13 over three, which is 4.333 reoccurring. Repeat same step to obtain the remaining table values. Next, substitute minus one for X and you're going to get three. Next, substitute for 0, you are going to get 1.67. Next, substitute for 1, you are going to get 0 0.33. Next, substitute for 2, you will get minus 1. Hence, we are done with the first table. For the second equation, substitute for s equals minus 2 into this equation. You are going to get 5. For the first value of equation 2 table, we have at the numerator 4 minus 3x is here. At the denominator, we have 2. Inside the bracket, we have that x is minus 2. And for the first value, we have 5. Repeat same step to obtain the remaining table values. Next, substitute for minus 1, you are going to get 3.5. Next, substitute for s equals 0, you're going to get 2. Next, substitute for 1, you're going to get 0 0.5. Lastly, substitute for s equals 2, we give you minus 1. Both tables must be plotted on the same graph paper. For table 1 from equation 1, when x is minus 2, y is 4.3 and this is the meeting point next when x is minus 1 y is 3 next at x equals 0 
y is 1.67 next when x is 1 y is not 0.33 next when x is 2 y is minus 1 next with a straight ruler join all the points try to extend the line to cover other range of integers not considered on the table next let's consider table 2 from equation 2 at x is minus 2 y is 5 when x is minus 1 y is 3.5 next at x equal 0 y is 2 when x is 1 y is not 0.5 next at x equals 2 y is minus 1 here there is a superimposition point next with a long ruler join all the points next let's consider the point where the two lines met the two lines met at x equals 2 and y equals minus 1 which is the same answers we obtained using elimination method and substitution method i believe this was helpful please click the like button also subscribe for more videos like this i will see you in the next video lesson